Okay, in this video, we want to talk about the best location for your in-reserve solenoid. In our 1979 CJ7, we're installing our 20 circuit kit, and we're adding our in-reserve battery management accessory to the Jeep. In-reserve actively disconnects all the power from the battery in case your battery gets too low, and we'll link a video above that gives you more detail. The solenoid that comes with the in-reserve kit goes between the positive terminal of your battery and the block of mega fuses that distribute the power to your front and rear power cell. So primary power from the battery, or from B+, goes in here, and this goes to the bus bar on your mega fuse holder. You want this as close to the battery as possible, and as we're looking at the Jeep, there's a great location, the same place we're putting the mega fuse holder, and we're gonna mount this on the plate between the positive term of the battery and the mega fuse holder. Also in your in-reserve kit, there's a reset button. When in-reserve does its job and shuts down the entire power from the battery, you need a way to manually reset this. It also acts as a nice security feature because you can just press and release this button and completely kill all the power to your vehicle. So you wanna have this somewhere accessible and somewhere you can get from the outside of the car. Now, since getting the hood on the Jeep is really easy, we're gonna put it right next to the battery. And there's a great set of tabs right there we can make another plate to hold this button. So stay tuned, in the next couple of videos, we're gonna find the best location for our master cell and for our front and rear power cells.